Emergency officials in Sarasota County are especially worried about storm surge. Low-lying coastal areas are at risk of flooding, and experts warn that people can be killed if they are not careful. News Channel 8's John Rogers joins us now live from Lido Beach to tell us about preparations there. John, we don't say this to be alarmist. We say this because it's simply true. This is dangerous. Absolutely, and it's important for people to heed the warnings. As you can tell, Jen, Lido Key has virtually become a ghost town. Thankfully, many here are heeding that mandatory evacuation order, but they're also worried about what they'll find when they get back. Longtime residents will tell you Lido Beach is nowhere near as large as it used to be. Over the years, erosion has chewed away at this coastline. It's coming. It's just about how bad it's going to be there. And with Hurricane Irma morning, on its way, Carl Schofstall is exactly. worried. Because there is no protection right now. When this water comes in, it's coming on the street and into the parking lots and up against the building. Sarasota County emergency officials warn that depending on Irma's path, the area could face anywhere from 1 to 15 feet of storm surge. So a mandatory evacuation has been put into effect for coastal communities here. Most deaths, uh, as you saw in Houston, occur from drowning in floodwaters or storm surge. We want to avoid that. Boat owners are tying up their vessels. Massive specialized barriers are being installed in front of condos. And over in St. Armand Circle, business owners are taking no chances. This is a uh, one-in-a-lifetime storm, so we gotta got to be prepared. We have no margin for error here. You can't handle much more erosion. No, absolutely not. Despite the mandatory evacuation order for coastal communities, law enforcement officials will not be enforcing that rule. However, that's not an excuse. They say that you should take this seriously and do not ride out this storm if you live in coastal areas. Jen? All right. John Rogers reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, John.